Hi everyone, it's Dogs Here Plays, welcome back to some more Satisfactory 1.0. Um, we've done a little bit of a change, you can see there's foundations around the hub now, and the hub has been moved, it's no longer where it was over there, where you can no longer see. This is all foundations now, we've been doing a lot of work, I'm stuck, there we go. We've been doing a lot of work to improve the factory as we saw on the live stream, and now we have the space elevator as well, which is fucking huge. Um, so, I have been doing a lot of work to improve power efficiency and various other things as well on the stream. Uh, so we've got uh, some biomass burners over there. I was going to say four, not the uh, the F word. Um, and they're being fed by solid biofuel, which is being constructed over here. And, you know, I can pop wood in there if I need to. Ooh, I'll stick the last two wood in there and make some more. Um, and we're just being fed by these iron things over here at the moment. So what I need to do is find out a way to build rotors, uh, which are the next... No. Smart plates, that's the next thing. Uh, if I find my assembler over here, this is what tells me I need to make rotors, if I look in the recipe. Uh, so I'm going to need rods and screws, which is not too bad. I can make that. Um, but I need 50 of the damn things. We've already got um, screws going in here, uh, and we've got plates to make uh, reinforced plates. And what we're going to do is we're going to change the recipe of that to make rotors. And then it's going to go, ah, I'm getting plates in here and I don't want them. Um, so I'm going to just uh, come back over here for a second. Uh, let's just get rid of that piece of track because if all we're going to do is rods i'm just going to take them from over here and put them in manually and just make them that way uh let's take 200 there and then let's just go over here so i'm just going to start that process be a little bit more manual and i'm hoping youtube is not going to crush the bitrate of this video like it did uh on my last one um, if you did see that and you you saw kind of poor quality there I apologize I'm going to try and upload this one in 1440p uh, which just takes longer um, I was a bit crushed for time um, as the video was crushed for bitrate so we're gonna work on phase one of that I can't do any more uh, of these well, apart from jump pads which I've never used in the game so I'm not gonna bother with that anyway uh, so I can't move on to phase one until I've done uh, elevator phase one so we'll have to move on with that other than that, I do want to get some more uh, sources of good concrete. Uh, so I have this one. Where's it gone? This one. I was right next to it. Uh, this one here is, is a little bit... It's okay. It's a bit rubbish, if I'm honest. I'm going to try and move this as well up here in this video. Um, and then I've got one over here as well, which is also a bit poor. And I want to try and find out the most efficient way of doing it with a couple of constructors and things. But, you know, that's uh, for later on in the video. I haven't really explored. I did a little bit of exploration while I was uh, streaming. Just have a quick look around. There's there's not much around. I've got a couple of power slugs and things. Um, I'm going to go over here and see for a second what we can find. I'll see if there's anything interesting. Right, I have found a cave. Uh, and I found some bacon and garrick, which I haven't found any of just yet. So, hello, Ada. Potential edible collected. Reminder that look and smell alone do not provide sufficient data to determine exact risk of consumption. Just because it looks like you can eat it, does not mean it won't eat you. Research it in the MAM to establish classification and potential application. Yes, we unlocked the MAM in the last uh, stream, uh, which you would have seen if you were joining us for that. Um, I'm going to try and stream this again over the weekend if I can. Uh, there wasn't really anything else over this way. Um, and not all of the poison stuff is a little bit annoying. Um, I'm hoping we can get back around this way to the hub and stuff without dying to something. There's some nuts. Thank you. And we'll go back to the hub. All right, we are back at the hub. We're going to do some research quickly in the MAM because we've just found something I've not found before. So we're going to nutrients, I believe it is, and then let's just research this. Give it a second. Right, it didn't really give me anything. I still need to find some pale berry. I haven't found any of that just yet. Dubbed bacon agaric due to its uncanny resemblance to raw bacon is compatible with the human digestive system and has been added to the object scanner. Further research is available. Alright, we are oh, I'm making rotors. I'm not making smart plates. I am not a smart man. Okay, I need to make rotors anyway, so that's fine. Let's keep going. <clears throat> I also need to make some modular frames at some point as well because there's a hard drive somewhere over there or a space a crash space thingy uh, that I need to go and get. So and I can't make those here. Um, I can make modular frames. I can only make two. Well, if I get some more rods, maybe I can make some. Hold everything. Not a few rods there. Again, we need to ramp up production, but we'll uh, we'll deal with that. So if we just make five of these. Uh, 
Right, that's six. Uh, obviously, we can't make just five because they're made in batches of two. And then we go over here. Oh, uh, get to the hard drive in a second. And here we are. So if we open this drop pod here, we need six of those. So we can now open the door. Oh. And we get a hard drive. Which I can now use back in the MAM again. Damaged hard drive successfully acquired. All pioneers are contractually obliged to preserve and secure any recovered hard drives for analysis in the MAM, which may result in benefits to the Fixit mission. Speculation as to why there are crashed freighters in your Fixit designated zone is discouraged as specified in your contract. <laughs> I do like the new uh, dialogue that's been added by Ada. Um, there's a lot of quite funny stuff that comes up occasionally, it's like uh, about pioneers and how they are. Uh, replaceable, let's just put it that way. Might need to move this because it's a little bit out of the way. Right, uh, hard drives, here we go. So let's go and check his hard drive, I mean scan my hard drive. It's going to take 10 minutes, so we'll come back to that. Right, we're finally on our final rotor that we're going to need because we're going to need to be able to... Oh, and my memory search is complete as well. So once we get the sixth one of these, we'll take this out and we'll turn it off. Um, because we don't need to use this just yet. I'll just take you. Thank you very much. Change your recipe. That is all, awesome, isn't it? Hold on. Uh, yes. Okay. Go back in here. Then we're going to make smart plating. And then we're going to load it up with 50 of those. And I'm going to split it so that we get exactly 50. You're going to... Okay. Let's see if I can do just the one that in there as well so 50 and 50 is going to make 50 smart placings so now we can turn it back on um it doesn't matter that there's stuff going in there at the moment we'll just leave that for the time being so let's go check one of our hard drivers now said over here in the mam uh scan hard drive has been added to your hard drive library oh okay hard drive analysis completed alternative recipe selection available in the mam do you know what? I quite like this one. But six inventory slots is amazing. So I'm going to take that one. <laughs> um, that is now huge for me. Cool. Okie dokie then. Um, I'm going to have to wait to see if I can get the, the 50 plates. I'm going to have another scout around so I can find another hard drive. And I'll be back shortly. Right, I haven't found a hard drive. But I found something else apart from bright sunshine. Um, there's one of these things and it's protected by a flamey boy wherever he's gone he was here a second ago there he is hello blood ow oh god no that's not good piss off right okay you're dead uh now let's go and get this thing i think this is a summer sloop from the original game it's a mercer sphere i have no idea what this is um okay then be prepared for weirdness The astrobiologist Dr. D.M. Mercer was the first to recognize the presence and probable nature of these alien artifacts. These chain-melted state spheres are named in his honor. Each sphere emits a unique signal. Research it in the MAM to establish locally appropriate classification and application. Right, okay. So we head back to the MAM then and we start researching it, I guess. Um interesting i thought it was going to be uh like a spooky thing like they were in well the, the mercer thingies were not the mercer the summer slope things were in previous to 1.9 i'm gonna have to try and get back now and we are back at the man once more so uh alien technology so one of the mercer spheres let's start research and you're going to be three seconds which is fantastic okay Mercer Sphere Analysis completed. Established local planetary signature of Massage 2, A, B, B, in the local Mercer Sphere signals, allowing them to be tracked by the object scanner. Ooh. Mercer Spheres can also transmit data between specific... Witness our scripture. Witness our windows. Have you come to defile our shrine? Sing the song. Arguing the existence of intelligent alien what? life. While Fixit has figured out the method, all of the original data is still untranslatable. Sing us a song? What? Oh yeah, I did not like that. That was a bit a little bit spooky for a little of me. Um thirteen. We've still got plenty to go. Wait. 
Oh, yeah, that's fine. It's just going to take some time. Um, yeah, that was weird. Uh, I've seen another one of those somewhere over here, and it said I could track it, but I can't seem to. Um, I know that's all over there. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly sort out this uh, element over here with the um, concrete, and then maybe we'll try and find a better way to do this. Because uh, it's one miner, and then I've got loads of construction bits over here. Uh, so let's just have a... Ooh, let me get me nuts first thing. Yep. Um, yeah, let's get rid of you. Get rid of you. Making you. Right, that storage container I'm going to have to sort out, but it's an easy way of doing that, so. I want it kind of here, I think. Probably not in the way. What I might do is, let me just try and... Own one. Am I not on zoop mode? Uh, build mode is default, so zoop. Oh, I can do vertical. Oh, I didn't know that was a thing. Just do zoop that way. Oh, I'm <laughs> bizarrely I'm missing concrete. Uh, can I have? Thank you. I want to build uh, storage containers here. Um, how far back do they go? There. So the first one is going to go in. The second one's going to go to the way around. So I'm hoping eventually that will fill up. Um, and then I can take... Well, there's not much in there anyway, so... Take that and then... F it away. Uh, how much is in there? Oh, there's loads. Right, okay, that's fine. Because um, what I can do is... Can get rid of that one. Move it up to there, just because that's the easiest thing to do. That'll go through there. I'm going to build a constructor here, and then storage is going to come out of the constructor onto here. Um... Let's think about the way to do this. Uh, so production, constructor, it's rather large. Um, not too large though. I want it that way around. Right, and then grab this round to there, get some power on you, uh, which we can do from there. Tell it a thing. Yeah, you're still going to start filling up, and then I'm going to build one there, and one that way. Then we go around here again. Ah, oh, don't be too steep. Okay, well, we'll come out here then. Let's turn you a touch this way. It's really not. Oh. Could have probably put it on top of something else, but it's fine. Right, so let's... Uh, There we go. That's fine. I can get around it. It's not too bad. Okay, so that's that problem solved for me. Um, and then eventually that'll just go up there and I can sort this out so it can go away. Because uh, I really don't want it to be filled, but... In fact, I could make that... Um, make that conveyor belt mark two, so that it's faster to empty. And then we'll do the same with this one here. Um, really? Hold on two seconds. Missing, oh, missing materials. That's the problem. Right, it doesn't matter that it fills this one up quicker than it does everywhere else. So it will just get sorted. Right. What's next for me? This will still be on like 30 maybe. 
23, we've got plenty of time for that, so I'm going to have another explore back later. Right, I've gone really far west of my base, a um, good couple of minutes, and I found one of these things, which is uh, those flying bug things, which do annoy the hell out of me, so I'm going to have to get rid of it. And there's iron here as well, which is quite nice, um, and it's pure. So I may have to start building something here. Right, come in, bugs, where are you? Or are you all dead? You're all dead. Good. And there's some more quartz. I did find some more quartz before, because it's right next to where I landed, so I can take this. Um, I've done a bit of research into the quartz side of things, haven't really found anything very useful for it, but uh, this is nice and handy. I'm also going to cut down this tree, because, you know, why not? It's in my way. No, it's not. Uh, I'm just trying to see if there's anything else of interest in this direction. And unless I start climbing, I don't really think there is. Uh, it seems like a lot of nothing, if I'm perfectly honest. Uh, there's some more ore over there, though, so I will check that out quickly. After my nuts. This seems like limestone. Oh, there's a couple of buggy things there. Eh? I say buggy things, the bug launchers. That's a big hole, and there's some what looks like gold. Ooh, Katerium. I've not started with Katerium yet. Unknown metal collected. This metallic element is showing properties similar to those in Group 11 on the periodic table, such as high conductivity and malleability. Research it in the MAM to establish classification and potential application. I shall. Let's grab this bit of iron, stick that into a crate somewhere. And then I'm going to go get them bugs. I want to try and get them one at a time if I can. So only spook one. that one done. Ah. The bugs really do annoy me. Oh, they're both launched. Oh, don't try and punch them. Ah. Right. I've got to, got to kill this thing, so... I am very nearly dead. Right, hold on. Just eat... Eat them nuts. <laughs> so this wasn't a massively interesting area. Now, full. Oh, I haven't got my Zeno Zapper equipped. Uh, I'm just wondering if there's anything else over here. I mean, the view is stunning. Um, ooh, there's another thingy down there. Some limestone... There's, there's two bug things, but only one ore thing. Oh, and oh my god, there must be something down there. Okay, we'll have to come back there later. Uh, this, oh, there's an explodey thing on the end there. So we'll have to deal with that too. I was hoping there was going to be some ore resources down here, apart from... Just a bit of rubbish, limestone and iron. Some nuts there. It really doesn't look like there is anything apart from that block. Well, there's a power slug there. And a shooty boy. Right, we don't need to go down. What the? Hold on. Interesting. I've not seen this part of the map before. So there's another... Uh, Mercer Sphere there with a couple of Chargy Boys, which is okay. I can deal with them. Um, are they the big ones? Oh, heck. He just spawned in out of nowhere. Uh, right. Maybe we don't deal with them for the moment because he's probably going to kill me in a couple of hits. I will come back to this. But this markings on the floor is very interesting. I'm going to retreat for now unless I can only aggro one of them. Maybe I can. Maybe. Right, can I just get you, please? Come. Oh, I don't mind being hit a little bit by you. Right, what do we think? There's coal. <gasps> we could start coal. Right. 
Oh my god. Yes, all right, I hear you. Right, run away for a bit. I need to get some barrel nuts in my hand. Ow! Oh god, no. Right, just munch, munch, munch. Oh, flipping heck. Right, you are very quick to anger and hopefully quick to die. Whew. That was a bit of a scrap. Okay, do not like the spitters. But coal down here is good. Um, I think there's some more there as well. We're not going to get there until we get a little bit further in the old uh, space elevator tree. Tell me anything about it, Ada? No? Okay. Alright, so that's fine. We'll come back to you later. Can I cut this down? Oh, I don't know because I haven't got my chainsaw equipped. I cannot. Okay. Get me some more nuts. We'll come back to the coal a little bit later. I found a slug. Let's grab it. It was right up above where I was just there. Um, I also fought a dude over here for some copper, but it's only a single outcropping of it, which is a bit disappointing. I was hoping there was going to be two or three. Because, again, I still need to improve my copper production. I've got loads of copper, um, or wire, I should say, but I don't have any kind of automation surrounding it. It is literally just copper into a smelter and then be, being made into wire. So I haven't even got as far as making... Oh, hello. Aha! Right, it's one of the big boys, isn't it? I'm going to need my basher. But I can't do that just yet because I haven't unlocked it. Um, You are a large lad. I could probably cheese you. Oh, God, there's bugs as well. I'm out of here. I'm not going to survive that, unfortunately. Oh, climb. Go it. I've got to... I don't know what's up here. <laughs> I've just run away. Uh, okay, let's climb down. I need to go that way. Um, all right, let's go home. I have a Mercer Sphere to uh, investigate. All right, so we're back at the base, making our way over to the MAM. There's some nuts over here under the floor. So I'm going to grab them. Thank you. And then. We look at the alien technology again. Have I got anything else? Uh, I need a what is that? Is that a hard drive? Uh, a SAM fluctuator. Don't know what that is. We'll have a look at that. I haven't found any summer sleep yet, so I haven't found any SAM itself. Okay, we'll come back to that. Was there anything else? Caterium. Let's uh, start the research on that because that was something else I found. I'm very full. Um, The metal has been named Caterium after Fixit's greatest CEO, Katerina Parks. It has been added as a viable alternative to gold in industrial applications, specifically in advanced electronics due to its superconductivity, malleability, and corrosion resistance. Cool. So we should be able to scan for it now, is that right? Caterium, yes, there we go. Let's see if we've got any stacks nearby. I don't think we have... I'm not too far away. 403 and 694. That's not too bad. Let's grab my 50 smart plating and let's go pay a visit to Mr. Space Elevator. Okay, yeah, I know. Stop pinging. <laughs> let's complete this phase one. and Hopefully this will allow us to get like a Xeno basher or something. There's a new design within here as well, in case you haven't seen this. So we'll pop those in. Seal it. Send it, hopefully. Come on. Mr. 
Welcome to the Project Assembly oh. Pioneer Progress Presentation. Congratulations, the Phase 1 project part shipment is now ready for delivery. On delivery, Phase 1 will be completed and the distribution platform will be constructed. After completion of Phase 1, the technologies of Tiers 3 and 4 will become available in the hub. Highlights are, automated power, steel production, personnel transportation, and many more. Completing Phase 2 of Project Assembly is your next main objective. New project parts will need to be produced and delivered to the space elevator as you have done previously. Continue to construct, automate, explore and exploit for a better fix-it future. Cool. Right, that's new. And away we go. Now this, if I can get far enough away. What's it doing? And away it goes, so they haven't changed that animation. I missed it then, but it's, uh, it's built this uh, kind of arm around the top there, and you can see transport stuff being moved around. That's kind of cool. Anyway, let's go check out Tier 3 in the hub. There's the hub. There. I was next to it. So, Tier 3, uh, coal power. We did just find coal, so that's kind of important. We kind of want to do that soonish and i like the fact that, that coal is right next to the water as well so we can really exploit that uh vehicular transport basic steel production again we're going to need to do that and enhanced asset security i want to do this one kind of almost immediately because it's going to give me the xeno basher so i'm going to select that one and we're going to go off and go and do some stuff i need to get loads of reinforced plates uh so i can do that it's not a problem these guys are making me screws anyway and then i'll go grab some plates uh in fact there's already plates in here so i can just change i oh, know this is uh these isn't it okay right, hold on um what i want to do first is take all that was a mistake <laughs> all right and then we pop that in there that's going to get steel plates going in there and I'm going to change the recipe on this to make me some more reinforced iron plates so that's fine uh, and while I'm waiting I will stick in the 11 plates I have though it's not many but that's fine uh, in fact I could put screws in there as well couldn't I let's split that stick that in there too make sure that's getting filled up nice and easily So, uh, complete phase two of the um, the space elevator is going to be a very long time away at this point because <laughs> that's a lot of stuff. Um, but I can probably do the 1500 wire from over here. Let's go grab this from this particular place. Yeah, I'm going to need some space though. So, two stacks that I can take for now. Um, do you know what? Oof, get up there. Make a couple of trips for this. Inefficiency. It's fine. Fix it won't fire me for that. Not yet, anyway. Pop you in there. Uh, I've got another Mercer Sphere, which will stick there. Uh, what are you? Hatch your remains. Yeah, you can go in there. Okay, cool. Uh, oh, oh, wrong way. Over here, let's stick in. Uh, kind of didn't want to do that, but that's okay. Right, We're almost there. Uh, another stack of 500 and we'll be fine. Just so I've got enough. Yeah, 100 reinforced iron plates is going to take me a little while, but I will get it by the end of the video, so. Let's fill you up however many you need. Uh, oh, do you know what? I'm almost there. Let's just grab one. Thank you. That's that done. And then it's just 100 reinforced iron plates, so. Again, in a little while, we will get there. We're almost full there. Not in the air at the moment, but that's okay.
Iron plates are being slow now. Come on. No point making this any faster than it is. Yeah, so this should give me enough. I mean, I could overclock these if I wanted to, but I'm, I'm okay at the moment. I'm going to need to ramp up my own blade production. These guys are making rods, which are being split over here. Going into this one, I'm just trying to double check if I can uh, maximise production anywhere else. What are you doing? You're doing this. Uh, so, some wood in there. How much biomass have we got going on? Plenty at the moment, that's great. I don't have a huge amount of uh, con uh, concrete being constructed, but that's okay. I don't have any iron plates on me. Do you know what? We've got stacks over here, so let's go and fill this one up automatically. Wait, it's not going to complain and it won't run out for a little while. You we can take. You we can also take. So we've got nothing out of the ordinary there. Let's uh, sort that. Just organising everything so it's nice and uh, sorted out. I don't need those on my person anymore, so we'll leave those. Blue power slug, which means I could upgrade something if I want to. I don't really want to go down a road of power efficiency and everything else as well at the moment. I'm happy with the way things are. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come back. How many reinforced iron plates have we got? It's just out of interest. 17. Gives me 20 overall. I'm going to pause. Well, I'm going to pause recording for a bit and I'm going to wait until we've got those finished off. So uh, bear with me while I go and do that and then I will see you guys in a second or so. I have run out of power. I'm going to have to go fix things. There's enough power going into these. Um, it's just I've I've peaked over where I needed to be. Maximum consumption is 132, so I'm going to have to make another biomass burner. Um, I'm trying to think of the best place to put it at the moment. I think it's going to be here. So, uh, power, biomass burner. The quicker we can get into uh, the old coal the better um i will need to just fix this then i'm gonna have to put another splitter here aren't i um got no logistics uh conveyor splitter there we go right give that time to pop some fuel on Oh, I need to connect it to the uh, the world as well. Let's put a pole there. Oh, I've got no space. What are you going to? Uh, okay, so we can... Uh, hold on, where are you going to? Yeah, there. Okay, let's get rid of that line. Uh, oh, there's no... Yeah, there we go. Right, and then everything should be ready to go. There we go. Right. Yes. Okay. So we've got our... We aren't at the limits of our production capacity, though. So we do need to be careful. And I also need to be making lots more biofuel. Because now I've just increased it by 20%. So let's fill that up again. I have to go get some more wood soon, but we'll get there. And the reason we've uh, got to that point where we are running out of power... It's because I've just doubled my <laughs> production of um, reinforced iron plates because it was taking too long. So uh, we have, well, a whole four there. And a whole five there. It's going to take a little while. I'll pause and come back. Right, we are one away. And one away. There we go. Right, so that is all of these. Let's go submit this. And then we can start getting our Xeno Basher. Because that's the one I've wanted for a while. Uh, there we go. 100 reinforced iron plates. And we'll leave them to just make reinforced iron plates. Because we're going to need a lot of them for the next bit. 
Milestone reached. The Xeno Basher is a direct upgrade from the Xeno Zapper. In the words of the engineer that first developed this tool, quote, the zapper kind of electrocutes things, the basher straight up smacks stuff, while also electrocuting them." Unquote. It is beneficial during encounters with aggressive fauna, and has been tested thoroughly. The engineer's noble sacrifice for Xeno research will not be forgotten, whoever they were. I don't remember where I put my equipment workshop, I think it's at the end here. I may not have an equipment workshop. Well, that's intriguing. Let's build one. So, Xeno Basher requires two Xeno Zappers, which I can't make. Um, what do I need? Reinforced iron plates. Okay. <clears throat> Losing my voice. It's not good. Right, so we need to have two Xeno Zappers. I've already got one, so I'll make one more. And then a Xeno Basher. Uh, so I need to unequip that one, don't I? Oh, I need five modular frames. Are you kidding me? Uh, luckily, I can make those in here. And oh, I need some cable or wires, I should say. Chop anything comes towards me for the moment. Right, and make this. we go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I've missed these. I don't know if you saw the uh, the Satisfactory stream where they were announced this. They've got a live kind of working model of this. Obviously, it doesn't zap things um, as they're bashing, but it's, uh, it's certainly a, a thing to behold. So now I can have those and I can have some food in my third slot as well. And there we go. So the next thing we're going to work towards is going to be coal power, because I think that's the most important kind of next thing. Um, these are all really, really expensive to make, um, but we can scan for them for coal. I know where coal is, and we can have a fluid buffer and all sorts of things. So that's what we're going to work towards on our next video. Um, if you want to join me for that, you can subscribe down below. You can do the same things you normally do uh, on all YouTube videos. It's going to take me a little while to get there in terms of making all the stuff. But we've got uh, some automation in place for um, reinforced iron plates, at least. Rotors I can make manually and cables won't take too long to make at all. So stick around for the channel for, for some more of that. Um, appreciate this is a bit of a shorter video probably today. But, you know, I had loads of things that I needed to get done. Uh, and loads of things that I needed to pause to find. Anyway. Underdog Plays, this is Satisfactory version 1.0 again. I'll see you soon.